In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Schedule Planner, also known as Schedule Builder, to create a custom schedule, add it to your shopping cart, and enroll in your courses. You'll start the process by using your MyCSUB credentials to log in here to MyCSUB. Once you're logged in, it lands you on your home page. If you're a currently enrolled student, you'll see a list of your classes, and down below you'll see the tab for Schedule Planner. If you've never enrolled in the university before, or if you're not currently enrolled, um, you won't have a list of courses, obviously, um, but go ahead and click on the Schedule Planner tab. It does open in a new window, so allow it to open. And that will land you on the option to select your term. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are selecting Spring of 2025, and we're going to save and continue that. So this brings us to Schedule Planner, also referred to as Schedule Builder. You do have some preference selections to make here at the top. Course status, if you click Change, it gives you the option between open classes only, open and full with the waitlist option, or open and full classes. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at open classes only because I like to ensure that students are enrolling into an open class. Obviously, if you're a little bit later on enrollment, you might want to select waitlist options if there are no classes available. For locations, I'm going to go ahead and jump to that one. Uh, deselect all locations and only select the campus that you are attending. For this demonstration, I'm using the CSUB main campus. Again, we already selected the term, and I'm going to go ahead and leave all instruction modes to give us the most options. In the courses section, I'm going to go ahead and select add course. Now you can add courses by either subject or by requirement. You probably have been provided with a list of courses uh, by your academic or faculty advisor, or maybe you already know what classes you need to add, but I'm going to start searching by subject. The first course I'm going to go ahead and add is Chemistry 1010. I'm also going to add Math 1055 to Mathematics Courses 1055. On my list to add is also English 1109. Communications 1008, and then it says C2. So I don't know the C2 classes off the top of my head, so I'm going to go ahead and search by the requirements. So if I click on the requirement, I can scroll down and look for area C2, and I can look at the subjects offered under Area C2. I'm going to go ahead and click on Religious Studies. And here I have some Religious Studies options. I don't know anything about these courses, so I'm going to go ahead and add a few that I think might be interesting. And then if I click on the I, it provides me with a course description so that I can read through these and make a decision based on which I like better. So I'm going to go ahead and leave Religious Studies 1118 on and delete this one out by clicking on the X. And here I finalized my list of courses. So I'm going to click back, scroll down, and click on Generate Schedules. Now according to this, I have over 1,000 schedules generated. Now I don't have time to go through 1,000 schedules, so I'm going to try to customize my schedule further by adding a break. Now I hear that I could possibly have a schedule where I don't go to school on Fridays, so I'm going to go ahead and call this Fridays for my break. And class start as early as 7 a.m., so 7 a.m., I'll leave it to 11 p.m. on Fridays. I would like to have a break. Now, if I re-click on Generate Schedules, so the system is detecting a conflict. 
it says that Math 1055 conflicts with my Friday break, so that must mean that Math 1055 is scheduled on Fridays. So I'm going to deselect that break. I'm going to try to add a different type of a break. I'm not really a morning person, so I'm going to add in a morning break. Classes can start as early as 7 a.m., so I'll put in 7 a.m., and I'd rather not go to school anytime before 9 a.m. So here I'm telling the system that between 7 and 9 a.m. I do not want to be in class. Go ahead and select the weekdays and add in the break. Now I'm going to click on Generate Schedules. That cut it down to 697 schedules. I'd like to add another break to cut it down even further. I'm going to call this break evenings. I would like to be out of school by 4 p.m. on weekdays. Let's go ahead and add that break, and I'm going to generate schedules again. That actually cut it down to 181 schedules, which is pretty good. I may not have time for all of these, but it's a lot more manageable than 1,000. And just to keep in mind, if you'd like to select other options to cut it down further, you can click on options for each of the classes and it will provide you with more information. So for example, here, clicking on options provides us with the instructor, the time, obviously the campus if you selected more campuses than one. And you can deselect any of these if you don't want them to show up in your options. So I'm going to go back to our 181 schedules here. If I scroll down through the magnifying glasses, I can see a little bit about these schedules. The purple has the times I've blocked off for breaks, and in between you can see the course arrangements. Clicking on the boxes to the side of the magnifying glass allows me to compare up to four at a time Scrolling over the boxes allows me to see which course I'm looking at. So I can see here that this red box is English 1109. So wherever I see red in each of these quadrants is my English 1109 course. And I can tell from these that the English 1109 is moving times, so those are all different options. Now I can compare as many schedules as I'd like. I can just scroll through them. Some of them will look similar. Maybe they're just different instructors. But once I find a schedule that I like, I can click on View to open it. Here I can see these all have open seats. If I scroll down, I can see who's teaching each of these courses. There's no teacher, they might not be assigned yet. And I can see my breaks. Now I happen to like this schedule here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it to my shopping cart. Once I send it to my shopping cart, I'm told to go to my shopping cart and click import cart. So I'll go back to the previous tab click on Enrollment Shopping Cart, click on the term, and then you'll have an Import Cart option. Go ahead and click on Import Cart. Here it's providing you with a list of the classes, tells you this is the Communications 1008 class. You want to go ahead and click Next at the bottom. If you know the class is waitlisted, you'll check mark this box waitlist if class is full to give the system permission to waitlist you. Now right now we know none of these classes are waitlisted so I'm going to go ahead and click next through all of the courses. Now I'm going to do this until I get a full list of classes here. So here I can select each one of my classes, and if it's before my enrollment date, I can click on Validate to see if I'm going to have any issues enrolling. And if my enrollment date 
is today or it has passed, um, I can go ahead and click on Enroll to enroll in these courses. Once enrolled, your courses will show up here on your home page, um, or if they're a future term, they'll show up during that term. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.